Hey everyone, this is Kyle once again. Welcome back to another movie review for Halloween month. And uh, moving on to the next um, movie review, another uh, uh, friendly, another friendly film for the Halloween month. Is it? I, I, I which I already reviewed the first film, but I don't think I reviewed the second film. And which is a sequel to Hotel Transylvania. So yep. So this one reviewing Hotel Transylvania Two, which came out last year, and most of the original, all the, like pretty much all of the original cast voice voice cast comes back. Um, starring of uh, voices for um, Adam Sandler again as Dracula, Andy Samberg as Jonathan, yeah, Selena Gomez as Mavis. Kevin James as Frankenstein, Steve Buscemi as Wayne, David Spade as the Invisible Man, and um, Molly Shannon as Wanda's uh, Wayne's wife, and um, uh, yeah, uh, Ke uh, Keegan and uh, Michael Key as Murray the Mummy, which uh, which in the first film was originally voiced by CeeLo Green, so. I guess Taylor Green couldn't go, couldn't come back to voice Murray, so they got Ke Keegan uh, Michael Key to do the voice of of Murray, and and of course you got um also you got of uh, um Nick Hofferman as uh, Johnny's uh, Jonathan's father, and uh, you have um Mel Brooks as Dracula's father, Vlad, it was, which it was nice to see Mel Brooks voice. Um, I hear Mel, not see, you can't see his voice, but hear his voice. So, yeah, Hotel Transylvania 2, it came, it came out last year, and it had a big opening weekend. It, it broke the previous, it broke the, which the, the, which the first film, when it opened up in 2012, it set the record for the highest weekend in September, and this way it made a bit more than the first film, so it broke that first film for the highest weekend. For September, which made like about forty-eight million domestically, one hundred sixty-nine million on its budget of eighty million, and doubled it. And worldwide, it made much more than the first movie, it made like about f over four hundred seventy some million. And due to its success, they're gonna plan a third sequel, well, a, a number three, a, a Hotel Transylvania three, which is gonna be released in twenty eighteen September. So we want to make this into a trilogy. And it's directed by the same guy who directed the first film, uh, Gennady Tartakovsky. I mispronounced his last name. Um, he came back, um, which originally that he was said he was uh, he was a bit too busy. He was not gonna get to this one because he was a bit too busy because he wanted to make a Popeye animated movie, which then never came up again. So, you know. and for features, it does has a, like a sketch guy for the characters. It has a a music video, but it has two commentaries. It has a has a commentary with the director, and a, another, another commentary with Adam Sandler and um, the writer um, Robert Smigel and ex executive producer um, Alan Covert. Okay, and the film had I guess it got much better ratings than the first film. Now I like the sequel though, but I didn't put. It was it was an honor it was an honorable mention for my uh, for my favorite films of 2015, but it did not make my top list though, because I think there was better there was much better anime movies I thought was better than this though. But of course, I still say it's better. It's like the better uh, work for Adam Sandler, better than his recent live action comedies that he's been doing, which have been shit I would say, to put it bluntly. So yeah, I would still say this is, be this is still like the best. Like the first film and this film is still like the best work he has done recently because his live action comedies have been have sucked all the way around. Like Pixels, which came out the same year for this film, that was a huge disappointment. He's just portraying he's just came out portraying the same kind of do the same comedies been done for all all of his other movies. But for I guess but but this but but at least he was much better than. He has better better performance as Dracula than he did in Pixels, because I'm saying that because these both of those ones were released in the same year. 
But the other cast members like Andy Samberg, Kevin James, David Spade, Steve Buscemi, even um, Mel Brooks. And yeah, even Selena Gomez, which I'm not the biggest fan of though, but I thought she still was fine as the voice of Mavis. Okay, so... The, the gist of it of this is, is it takes place a little bit after the first film and where Mavis and, and Johnny, Jonathan, they finally get married and and then and now at this point now monsters and humans the humans are now uh, can, can now able to visit the hotel Transylvania and by this time um, Mavis tells Drac that she's pregnant and and then the next like months later she gets she gives birth to a boy and Dracula is now a grandfather and his her son his name is Dennis and then it shows um and it shows the time like the like like a few years have gone by before uh Dennis turns 5 and of course the part where they say say uh grandpa and the of course it says blah blah the Dennis says blah 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 and of course the the the, the same joke from the first film you now Dragle saying I do not say blah 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 so And they have like by for for Dennis's like for before he turns five for his next birthday, uh, Mavis wants to wants to take uh, like takes uh, Dennis out instead of living here. He wants she wanted they wanted to go out to to see more in the world or live someplace else outside of Hotel Transylvania. But Dracula doesn't want that. She wants them to stay here. Even John even Jonathan wants them wants this wants to stay to stay as well. And of course, another, for another thing is that um, um, uh, Dennis has the that the Dracula thinks that he's a he will be born a vampire because, but he has not received his full set of things because he won't be if guess if he t before he turns five years old. But it says like he's a he's a late finger, yeah. So but so the normal way to make him become a vampire they have um jonathan he wants john johnny to take mavis to see his parents out in california while they babysit dennis which they want to take him out to be scary so he can grow out his fangs so they do that they so he um johnny and mavis they go out there to see his parents which his father is voiced by nick hoffman um and then the so we have like once again uh, Frankie, Kevin James, Steve uh, Steve as Wayne, David Spade as the Invisible Man, Ke uh, Keegan Michael Key as Murray, and even Brian Lobby, which that's his name from the first movie, the Green Jelly Blob. They even bring him along. And it should, and one of the least notice is that uh, they show each monster tries to show what <coughs> different techniques that they, that they have done to make. Uh, Dennis scary, but not like none of them have worked. Like when one, for instance, like um, like have them pop out of the bushes and say "boo" or whatever, and two girls, oh, he looks so cute. So yeah, all th they try all these different attempts to make him scary, but it doesn't work. Even Dracula um, once I uh, take like to this uh, to the summer cap that he that he went along all went years ago when he was a kid. And summer camp for vampires, but um, things have changed since then, and they like are now look more safer. Things, and you can think, and they, they tend to thinking he can um, trans get him to transform into a bat so he can learn how to fly. So they climb up this long wooden tower, which you saw when the first when the when the first teaser for the film came out. It shows like all of them climbing up this wooden tower. This this scene right there. So Dragon goes and throws him off, expecting he'll transform into a bat and fly off. But he says he doesn't. He goes and jumps down there and saves him at the last second. But he didn't know that that uh, the kids are filming this and they're putting it out on the internet for everyone to see. So, and then while uh, while that's going on, uh, Johnny with uh, with Mavis, like their voices are seen. She's because she hasn't been fully outside of the world, so she's getting seen almost for the first time. Like. Going to a convenience store, pretty much like a 7-Eleven, trying all the different Slurpees at once. 
or visiting you know, one, one of those uh, things where, you know, kids go, like, skateboard or do their bikes, whatever, on those... I forget what those things are called. And, like, she goes and goes very fast and tears everything up really fast. And, they, like, and all the kids like, oh, cool. And and by the time they visit, um, they visit uh, Johnny's parents. And and one of the ladies know that she uh, all of a sudden finds a... Uh, because uh, she, she, keeps, she keeps on checking on with her dad. We'll see how Dennis is doing. And then she somehow, and then she finds out uh, the video about him, about the... The tower, wooden tower incident. So she takes Johnny and flies all the way back to Hotel Transylvania, and they try to race back before to get ahead of her, but it's too late. They find she finds out, and she wants now to take Dennis away from here. But um, but uh, then then he cuts to now, like in the like in the trailer, show it shows like Mel Brooks's character in the trailer, which he's going thought was gonna be like throughout the movie. The thing is though. Once again, it was like another trailer live because Mel Brooks doesn't show up until like pretty much like the third part of the movie, which I was like that was kind of a bit of a disappointment because I thought we'd see him more of him not until like the third act. But still, um, but then because um because this Mavis was inviting everyone to like uh for Dennis's birthday and he gets an invitation, and because you know he wants to see his great grandson. And Mel Brooks, was, and Mel Brooks, he was, I thought he did fine as voice of Vlad. It was nice to, to, to see, well, see Mel Brooks in another movie. He hasn't done one for quite some time. Well, he, well, the year before this one came out, 2014, he had a little, had a little voice role in, um, Mr. P. Brian and Sherman, where he voiced, um, Albert Einstein. But that was, that was such a minor role. Here has a much more bigger role than this, though, so he voices, uh, Drax's father. Vlad. So he goes to the he he goes to the birthday party, and even um, uh, Johnny's family are are there. But um, since they found out that uh, Vlad's on his way, and he's never he's never got in real contact with humans, so they advise the family members to dress up as monsters. And then when he arrives, and he wants to um. Since he uh, they, uh, he he knows about to both Dennis is a being a lay finger, so he wants to try to scare him to being a to let his finger grow. So he uses his powers on this uh on this uh television uh character named Cakey, <laughs> the Cake Monster, which it is. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a silly name, but I'm just going with it though. Yeah, even though it's a silly name, so he makes like uses powers to make the the Sue duel. All these scary things make the scared Dennis though. Even the guy wearing the suit was getting scared. And he finds out about uh, with Dracula with the humans and Dracula. Then just, uh, then he de he def he defends that he defends all of them that uh, humans are different now than, than they were back in the days all those years ago. And also by this time, well, because of this instance, uh, Dennis now goes uh, to a treehouse which friends uh with um Wayne's uh only werewolf daughter Winnie which I guess you see they kind of like each other so I guess I guess they're they're all guess you could say they're already right, boyfriend and girlfriend but I guess like you, you, you can tell that they already like they kind of like each other but um but they both get but they, but they both get attacked by um Vlad's um I guess for the the lead the one lead was like a his bat servant named Bella. Get it? Bella. Bella Lugosi. Yeah, because Dracula and this and that. So, yeah. You have to throw out a name that references Bella Lugosi. And then, one, of the, one instance that uh, Winnie gets hurt, and this, and Dennis gets angry, and this causes him to all of a sudden sprout fangs, and he starts kicking all the bats' uh, bats, uh, you know, kicking bat, bat ass, I guess you could say. He starts doing all this, beating everyone up. He transforms into a bat. He's killing. He's beating up all the bats, and then all then everyone joins in. Dracula, Johnny, Mavis, and the family members and the monsters are all uh, kicking all kinds of bat ass. I'm not saying bad ass, bat ass. And you, of course, you get the slow mo where Drac, Dennis, and Mavis in their bat forms, all doing it in slow mo fighting styles. 
Yeah, I guess yeah, that's uh, that's like a little bit being a little bit more over the top on the stuff though, but still. I'm having a little bit of fun with it, so I'm just letting all that slide though. Even though it's silliness though. And then uh, Vlad, who now now feels now gets what Drac is saying, so he transformed the lead one. Which honestly the the lead one named Bella is voiced by Rob Ringle. Who's been in other comedy movies. He transforms him to a very a very small size. And then he goes and runs away. So now after all after all that um Vlad has now accepted Vlad now is accept, now accepted the humans and now the ha and Dracula is happy that Dennis is a is a vampire and they they said the Mavis wants now still wants to stay at Hotel Transylvania and they continue to have celebrate Dennis's birthday and that's when the film ends. So. So yeah, this is the this is much it's much more sure though, but for for the for this one is not me going on forever though, but it's 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 quick it's quick enough for me to get quick enough for me. I didn't I didn't ru I'm not rushing it though, but it's it's not that long of a it's not that long of a movie and pretty much it's like logistical like you know the whole pretty much the whole story for most of the movies that Dracula wants to get his his grandson to become a vampire basically it's much more than that and maybe she wants to go somewhere but she wants to uh, out, move out though but she want, ends up staying that's basically that's basically the whole point of the film so there's not much getting into though but overall I still like the movie do I think it's better than the than the first film mm, maybe just by Maybe the first, the, here's the first film, and I'll put, uh, second film just, like, a slightly bit above, but not much. So, you, you I can say they're both, I would say they're both equal, though, but maybe I'll just put, like, the first one right here, and the little bit right here for the second film, but not much. So, maybe, like, a, a smidge. But, that's, it's still, it's still decent, it's still, the pace is, the pace is still decent, it's not, still not slow, it's only about, um... What's the time on this thing? 89 minutes, minus the end credits. So it's like less, like, maybe like 85, 84 minutes. So it's not that long of a movie. The voice cast, I thought, overall was, was good. Like I said, Adam Sandler is still the best work he's done, besides his, over his live-action comedies, definitely. And, uh, good, did yeah, Kevin James, David Spade, Steve Buscemi, Buscemi, whatever. It was nice, to see, and all the other cast members as well. Um, even Mel Brooks, you no, know, it was nice to see him doing another film, which he hasn't done for quite some time though. So it was nice to see uh, see him right there as Vlad playing Drax's father. Of course, the name Vlad was you know named like Vlad the Impaler, who was like the who gave birth like to the name of Dracula. Of course, he had to reference for that, and of course, Bella. Of course, referencing for Bella Lugosi. So. Bravo, Hotel Transylvania. I, I, I like the movie, though, but it didn't make didn't make it on my top list of, of 2015, but it was in, like, an honorable mention. But there was this much better, and there were much there were much more better anime movies in 2015 that that was better than this. So, so, but um, but if anyone, but but if anyone likes them, anyone likes the, even the first film, I'm sure you'll you'll like the second film. If anyone do, who does, then then. Then <laughs> they just don't watch my review then, but anyway, everyone has their own opinions though. But I still like the movie, but it wasn't what it wasn't one of my favorite ones. Twenty fifteen, there were much more better ones. But um, yeah, I think it's it's a 
it's a harm. It's another. It's a harmless sequel, and but. It, may, it was enough to make a lot more money in the first film, both domestically and worldwide. And now that's why they plan to do a third film, which comes out in 2018. So it's like about a three-year three, a three year gap between, because the first one was 2012, this is 2015, and now the next one will be 2018. So like three-year gap between each. But I can wait. It'll be here. Before, it'll, the third film will be here before you know it because you know how time flies. So, but I'll I'll be curious to check. I'll be curious to check out for our number three though. But I, I can understand saying you know two is enough. Didn't need a third one. I understand that. And but um, it's it's a it's it's harmless. It's it's like it's kid. It's it's definitely kid friendly. I mean. In the back here is by this first from um oh yeah C cinema blend, you know the the some of the the movie site that I go to to look at sometimes for on the movie news yeah really enough cinema blend right here it says it's a joy for both kids and adults alike I can understand I can get that though but mainly for kids though but adults to like I I, I could see that but yeah but that's but that's my review that's my review for Hotel Transylvania two. I would say it's worth a look. I don't think it's not that bad though, but it's harmless. So, but that, that's my review for Hotel Transylvania 2. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned on the next uh, movie review. And it's got a few. I just got a few more until until the end because we're getting close to close to the Halloween. So, when I get to the to the main ones that I want to review, well. The one of the main ones I did review that was graveyard. That was a uh, graveyard shift. That was one of the main ones I wanted to do, but but I wanted to review some of the main ones that's close to the ones I wanted to do. But but anyway, enough said though. But hope you enjoyed my review for Hotels Transylvania Two, and stay tuned for the next one for Halloween month. Later.